Today, I want to talk to you about using the flags that have been provided to you in both Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC on an iPad. The both ex they exist in both platforms, but it's a little bit different of a process to use them between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC. We're going to start with Lightroom Classic. So in Lightroom Classic, the pick flags, the flag and reject pick flag and reject flag. Um, and then there's also a neutral flag. So all the images, when you import them, they're imported as a neutral flag. But pick and reject are great ways for you to be able to sort through a batch of images really, really quickly. And let me show you basics of how to do that. So I'm gonna grab my previous import and I'm actually gonna double click and open this up so that the preview is available for me to see full sized here. Um, that's key in being able to do this in a really quick fashion. Now, P is pick, R is reject, nothing remains neutral. So if I like this image and I wanna pick it, I'm gonna press P on my keyboard and you'll see that there's a white flag right here that opens up. If I wanna reject this image, I'm gonna press X and it's gonna note it as a reject. You'll notice that in the thumbnail, if you look all of the way over here to the left, you'll see that that thumbnail is now grayed out because it's a rejected image. If I no longer want it rejected and I wanna set it back to neutral, I click on the flag again to undo that. If I wanna set it back as a pick, I can tap P and be able to set it back as a pick. So when I'm going through my images, P and X are gonna be my best friends for this. So if I go to the next image and I don't like that image and I don't like that image, I'm gonna go ahead and set it as an X. If I come to the next image and I really like it, I'm gonna do it as a P. The next image, not as good as the image previous to it, so I probably wouldn't wanna keep that, so we'll set it as rejected. This one I would reject, reject, this one might be a pick, might be a pick, might be a not. Maybe we wanna just leave it the way it is. It's got a one star rating from my other way of doing this, so I obviously thought it was okay. But you notice as I go through here, my rejected images are grayed out. That really helps me when I wanna to go to sort through images later on and be able to delete those images out of my catalog if I choose to do so. Or I can just leave them in here and I'll know that they're rejected so I don't have to go back and look at them over and over again. Nothing's more disappointing than seeing an image you think looks really hot in your thumbnail view and then opening it up and it's out of focus, right? Um, I don't know about you, but that irritates me no end. All right, so you get the idea of where you could go through here. Now, to be able to sort these images out according to that filter, I can just use my attribute bar here and say, I only wanna see the rejected images. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sort to the rejected images. I'll go back to thumbnail view, and it shows me these images that I rejected. Now from here, I can go ahead and select those images and do what I want to do with them. Or I have another way that I can do this up here. I can come to library and scroll down here. Let's see, it's in here somewhere. Um, hold on, here we are, it's under photo. And I can say remove or delete rejected photos. And for whatever my selection of images is, in this case, it's the previous import, it will remove those rejected photos from my catalog if that's something I want to do. So it's real quick. You don't even have to select them and go through the process of, of deleting them um, in the catalog view or sorting them out even. You can just click this button and it'll take care of getting them out of your catalog if that's something that you choose to do. If you do click this, you're gonna have a choice to remove them from Lightroom or delete them from the disk. You can kiss them goodbye forever in this particular step. All right, so that is flags on Lightroom Classic. I'll be right back with the iPad and we will get started in learning how to use the flag system in Lightroom CC on a mobile device. 
Using the flags in Lightroom CC on an iPad is a little bit different than using them on Lightroom Classic on a desktop. For one thing, iPads uh, communicate through gestures versus a keyboard. Now you can use the keyboard, but truthfully, I think that if you're going to edit on an iPad, it makes it just basically another laptop <laughs> and you're, you're missing out on some of the great features of the iPad if you're not using the gesture effects. So the way that you're going to do this on an iPad is you're going to locate an album full of images that you want to work on that you're going to going to want to sort through. And ideally, you're going to start at the top of that folder. I just happen to be in the middle of it and it'll be good enough for what we're doing here. So I'm going to select a image that I want to start with. And then I'm going to make sure that my star is selected down here. A lot of times when you come into an image that right hand panel is open, I want to go down to the star. This is where I'm going to be able to do star ratings and also where I'm going to be able to do pick and reject. Now in Lightroom CC, pick is a swipe up, reject is a swipe down. So other than in the middle, I'm going to swipe up to pick. If I swipe directly in the middle, it's going to be star ratings, which I don't want. So I'm going to go either right to, I'm sorry, to the right of the image will be pick up, down will be reject. So if I come to the next image, and by the way, to get there, it, I clicked, but it would be easier for me to swipe to the next image and say, nope, that's not an image I would want. And then on the right hand half of the image to swipe down, that's going to reject the image. The next image was actually already rejected. This next image, I don't like either. So swipe down would reject it. The next one, don't care for her hand, swipe down would reject it, reject, um, pick. So just that simple, swipe up is pick, swipe down is reject. If you don't do either, it's going to just leave that image as a neutral flag. Now we'll go ahead and go back here really quickly and we are gonna sort or filter down this um, down these images to just the rejected ones. To filter, you're gonna press on the little filter and you're gonna filter by flag and we're gonna want rejected images. So that's what I'm gonna select. And then it'll give me the rejected images here for me to do with whatever I want to do with them. If I wanna remove them or if I want to um, just remove them from this particular album. So it gives me an opportunity to be able to use those flags very similarly to Lightroom Classic, but taking advantage of some of the cool features of working mobily on an iPad.